Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. JSE listed Clover has completed its newly expanded Queensborough production and distribution facility in Durban, bringing to a close its three-year CLO Blue project. Natasha Udendahl reports. Clover's newly expanded Queensborough production and distribution facility in Durban marked the conclusion of the company's aggressive three-year CLO Blue project. We had to move our long-life factories from Gauteng to the coastal areas. That was one part of Project Cielo Blue. The other part was the, the expansion of our distribution facilities because our distribution facilities were full at the time in 2010. And that's why we went to the JSE, that's why we listed Clover at the time. We didn't have the money to, uh, to do all those things. Uh, and we then uh, convinced our shareholders of today that they, and they gave us the money. We raised uh, 350 million rand with the listing for specifically for Project Cielo Blue of which 184 was earmarked for the distribution expansion part of it. And of that 84 million, 184 million, 77 million rand was spent on this Queensborough facility where we are today. A part of the Queensborough uh, project formed part of Project Cielo Blue. The manufacturing uh, expansion and, and new platforms that we've put in, in fact, was not part of Project Cielo Blue. The Queensborough facility, which procured an average of 290,000 litres a day of milk, from about 52 milk producers in KwaZulu-Natal, was now the company's largest factory and the second largest distribution centre, when combined with a nearby Pine Town facility. The 77 million three-phase expansion project kicked off in February 2012 and concluded in September 2013, with Clover separately injecting just under 95 million to introduce new products and technologies at the site, which brought the total investment to reorganize and expand the facility's production and distribution to 171 million. But on the production side, we, uh, we decided uh, from a product differentiation point of view uh, and as market leaders in the fresh milk uh, market, we needed to be, uh, to, to be uh, innovative. And we decided to take the, the old standard of 12 days fresh milk, uh, 12 days shelf life fresh milk, to, uh, to new whites uh, being 18 days uh, shelf life and we could only do that by introducing new technology. So we've introduced uh, uh, the new technology, uh, it came at, uh, at a cost of 94 million rand, uh, not only for the 18 days, we also at the same time we introduced a 30 days ultra pasteurized milk, uh, which is also a first for South Africa. There's been similar products on the market, but we're the first to offer 30 days shelf life on, on our product. So those two together uh, uh, cost the 94, almost 95 million rand, uh, and have definitely put our products uh, uh, in a different space to, to, to the opposition. Other news making headlines this week, problem contracts and labor unrest take their toll on Avenge, and CIFSA is delighted by government's commitment to enhanced industry alliance. Grinica LTA remained a persistent thorn in Avenger's side for the six months ended December 31, while several claims on large projects also piled on the pressure. Various projects, uh, including the Makolo Crocodile Pipeline project, as well as some of the ESCOM related work, are producing low or zero margin. If you have, we have taken provisions against the Makolo Crocodile project last year, so typically uh, going forward until completion, that project will not produce margin. The Steel and Engineering Industries Federation of Southern Africa, or CIFSA, has welcomed government's commitment to supporting business by creating an enabling environment and providing tax incentives for local manufacturing, as expressed by Finance Minister Pravin Gordon in his 2014 National Budget Address. The business community would do well to anticipate enormous pressure from the incoming government to advance or accelerate economic transformation much more over the next five years. The saving grace, however, is that the government appears to have finally accepted the strategic importance of business, not only with regards to corporate taxes, but more importantly when it comes to job creation. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.